So let's start by sitting tall. And taking some breaths. Or just bringing your attention here. Softening the face. See if you can begin to relax the brain. Relax the brain in terms of the processes of the brain, but relax it physically. Relax the eyes. Relax the cheeks. Begin to relax the throat. Relax the lungs. Relax the diaphragm. Relax the digestive organs, reproductive organs. And then relax the heart and we'll stop there. Just resting in the heart, relaxing in the heart. As you're resting there, start to deepen the breath. Finding and experiencing a fullness of breath a fullness of embodiment in this physical being. Shiva Mantra will begin first with the meaning. I bow to the presence of the divine within, our true and highest teacher that lives in and around us as being consciousness and bliss. It is ever present and radiates peace, lighting the way to transformation. i 
Let's find our way to lying down on the back with the knees into the chest. And you can start to rock side to side. So just explore moving around in this position. We'll go ahead and keep exploring. And making sure to stay fully present in this body with the fullest breath possible. Let's begin now to settle the feet down to the mat and bring the arms to a T. Another option for the arms is taking them behind and just feeling whatever feels right to you. So each one will give a certain feeling and you can always change it. Now we have the feet planted hips distance apart. We'll keep the feet planted and just start to let the knees fold over or fall over to the right. So the outer edges of the right feet are still on the mat and the feet are still apart from each other. The knees are apart from each other. Just turn the head to the left for a moment. So the left knee is going to be a little bit more center. And allowing the left thigh in particular to just relax a little bit more, relax a little bit more. And then we'll bring the feet back to the mat. So again, the knees are staying apart and we'll roll to the left edges of the feet. The knees drop to the left and turn the head to the right. And now the focus is on the right thigh. Just letting it relax. It's a very gentle twist. And now we'll bring the feet back to the mat and here we'll just start to explore. So we'll take the knees and drop them to the right and maybe turn the head to the left again. And then bring the feet back to the mat and drop the knees over to the left. So going through a few more times, letting the breath be a part of this experience so that you inhale, bring the knees up and the exhale. <laughs> inhaling and exhaling and again letting the head be involved in this too so that we're starting to warm up all many parts of the body at this point turning the head twisting the spine opening up the thighs and the hip flexors If you find a sweet spot, feel free to stay there for a breath or two or a little longer.
A few more deep breaths. And then when you feel like you've evened out, we'll keep the feet planted once again with the knees facing up. And maybe walk the feet in a little closer to the bottom. The arms can stay where they are. They can stay out to a T or over and behind the head. We're gonna just move a little bit through a bridge, but we'll go in and out of it, so we're not gonna hold. So we'll take a deep breath in and then exhale, pull the pelvis in and lift the hips. So we're doing this on the exhale, lifting the hips. And then on the inhale, lower the hips right back down. Exhaling, pulling the pelvis and lifting the hips up. Squeezing the glutes, inhaling, lowering the back, lowering the hips. Let's take about 10 more of these. In exhaling, hips up. We usually inhale up, but let's exhale. So we're probably there, we might have passed the 10. I actually stopped counting at one. <laughs> so once you have the hips down, let's take the, uh, let's just take a few breaths actually, just make sure that we all meet here together. And we're going to take a reclining pigeon just for a few breaths. So bring the right ankle on top of the left thigh and lift the left leg, thread the hands around the left uh, leg find a position on that left leg that you can hold firmly flex the right foot and then begin to draw the leg in both legs as a result and then lift the head up and we'll take four deep breaths Exhale, lower the head, the foot, the right foot. Bring the left ankle on top of right thigh. Flexing the left foot, lift the right leg. Hold the right leg with the hands. And then we'll go ahead and lift the head again and take four deep breaths. And we'll start to lower back down. You can release the feet, but then we're gonna take the legs straight up into a candlestick posture. And let's take the arms behind actually. So arms behind the head, resting there, lift the legs up towards the sky. And just sensing the tightness in the back of the legs here, start to move the feet, flexing and pointing the feet, taking some circles. Might have to separate the, the legs a little bit to get those circles in. And if you'd like, you could do the same thing with the hands behind. Feels funny to do this with uh, the hands and the feet because normally we're, you know, being held up by the arms or the legs. So just letting ourselves feel that. Maybe even noticing it's hard to coordinate. And then eventually we'll just let the arms rest and keep the feet upwards, keep the feet together. In this candlestick posture, if you have a lot of tightness in the legs, it's difficult to be here, feel free to bend the knees. Mm -hmm. 
and we'll just take about seven deep, full, complete yogic breaths. And let the fullness of the breath be felt. So you feel it from the belly up to the collarbone. Maybe even other areas of the body, you can feel the breath. That's about seven breaths there. So we're going to bend the knees now. And we're going to roll over to, we'll say the left side to start. So just roll over to the left side. And maybe you use the left arm to pillow the, the head, support the neck. We're going to be working a little bit more with the thighs at this point, the hip flexors. So once you're there, you can Go ahead and pick up the right leg so that you can uh, take the right foot behind and the knee, right knee forward. So it's facing the front of the mat. Now for stab stability and support, you might need to bend the left knee a little bit more or straighten it up a little bit more, but you wanna be able to be here comfortably on the side. And so that knee is facing forward. Make sure it's not pointing up. So the thigh is in line with the trunk. Now check in with the right hand. So while we're here, stretching the right um, quadriceps. But check in with the right hand. You might be able to take this right hand uh, over towards the toes. So you're at the top of the foot towards the toes. You might even be able to take it a little bit more inwardly. So just kind of play around and see where you can go, depending on your mobility of the shoulder. And then we'll start to pull the pelvis in and take five deep breaths. and releasing the foot and bring knees on top of each other then roll to the back and then over to the right side i'm just going to switch over so i can face you and so once you're over to the right side we'll have knees one on top of the other we'll support the neck with the arm and then we'll pick up the left leg send the knee forward and hold the left foot with the left hand Then see if we can change the position of the hand so that that way the shoulder isn't rounding forward and you're really, really sending it back, really rotating out. And then again, maybe hands to the top of the foot towards the toes. Maybe you can go further than that to the inner part of the foot. Don't need to push it really here. And then when you're ready, start to pull the pelvis in. Once you feel stable and you've got that bind, five deep breaths. And we'll start to release, rolling to the back once again. Bringing the knees into the chest. Nice big squeeze. We're going to uh, change positions in a moment. 
and just noticing how the body feels. Watching change by change by change, starting with surface changes, mental changes, emotional changes, and those get deeper and deeper as we proceed with our practice. Let's go ahead and switch over to a um, very similar position as this, but with the heart facing down. So we're going to rise up and come into child's posture. So sitting back on the heels and lowering the forehead to the block or the mat. How do we know whether we should use a block or the hands to support the forehead? Um, if our posture is one that has a long neck with the forehead, with the chin kind of forward and that neck not stacked with the rest of the back, it's called forward head posture then it's a good way to counteract that by making sure the head doesn't you know go far beneath the back so i want to keep it in line keep the neck in line with the back and i'm noticing i'm spending a lot of time on the computer and it's starting to get exaggerated in my body so it's just a good thing to keep in mind a couple deep breaths Next inhalation, rise up to table posture, hands and knees. We'll take a few cat cows here. Inhaling, belly sinking, head lifting, tailbone lifting. Exhale, belly engaging, lifting up, dropping the head and the tailbone. Continue. Couple more. Then we'll meet in a neutral table and we're going to start with a modified side plank. So once you find that neutral table, send the left foot over to the left, keep the left knee where it was, and then begin to take that right foot to the back of the mat, extending the leg and lifting the right arm upwards. So I want to make sure that the left wrist and the left shoulder stay in line. If you have wrist issues, if this is too much, then you can bring um, the forearm down. It's a little bit intense for the obliques, but it's good. Now let's go ahead and just lift the right leg. So we're going to stay in the modified version, even if you can go into the full version. Lift the right leg. Bring some weight into the knuckles and those left fingertips. Spread the right toes, spread the right hand. Now see if you could start to look up past the right hand. So it's gonna require a little bit more effort with balance. Next exhalation, you can lower the foot. Bring the head to neutral, bring the hand down and then bring the right knee down. Let's just take the left hand off the mat for a moment. Just give it a few circles here. And then we'll start with the other side. So starting with hands down, we'll send the right foot to the right, creating kind of like a little tripod. Then we'll send the left foot to the back of the mat, straightening the leg, and then inhaling the left arm up. Again, making sure that the right hand is firm, that the knuckles and the fingertips are bearing some weight that the shoulder and the right wrist are lined up. And then we'll go ahead and lift the left leg. 
deep breaths. Maybe now looking up past the left thumb. Watching the body shake. One more deep breath. And exhale, bring the hand down, the knee down. However you get there, come back to table. Lift the right uh, hand and circle there. Okay, and then let's go ahead and actually turn both of the hands to face back. So if it's too much to do both, then do one at a time. But we're going to stretch the um, inner forearms for a moment. <clears throat> in yesterday's class, I said we'd do some forearm wrist stretches, and then I didn't get to it. So I'm going to try again. But here we go with this. So if you need a little bit more, fingers face back, palms down. If you need more, send the hips back, and that will get you more intensity. Nice clearing breath out through the mouth. And then we'll bring the hands back to neutral, fingers face forward. Bring the right hand, top of the right hand, down to the mat with the fingers face back, just the right hand so we don't put too much pressure. You might roll over the toes if you need more. You'll start to send some weight back. If it's too much, then, you know, stay just over as much as you can over that hand. And then release. Take a circle or two with this hand, and then we'll switch. So left top of the hand down, fingers face back. Maybe sending weight back. And releasing a circle or two here. Maybe shake your hands out. We're going to come into downward facing dog. So hopefully that will have helped a little bit. When you're ready, palms down, roll over the toes, lift the knees, start to send the hips back a bit. Find some motion. Remembering once you feel like you're Kind of going to stay still in this position, then you can pull the low belly in. Okay, let's look forward. Step, walk, or jump the feet forward to the top of the mat. Feet hips distance apart or slightly wider. Fold in for about five deep breaths. Checking in with the length of the inhalation and exhalation and seeing that they match. My tendency is to shorten the inhalation and lengthen the exhalation. So it's important to know our tendencies so we can correct them as often as we can bring our attention to those tendencies. Let's start to come up halfway, just halfway, and take the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers. So in a halfway lift, the heart is kind of sending forward and we're lifting the head, looking forward. And now we have the hands interlaced behind. And you could just let them rest right on the tailbone. <clears throat> fingers interlaced. 
Still halfway up. Take another deep breath. And then we're going to exhale, fold forward and start to lift the hands up and away from the tailbone. As high as they'll go. Letting the head go. Now we're going to do that again. So just let the hands rest on the tailbone and come up halfway, lengthen the spine, look forward. Exhale, fold, send the hands up and over. Let's take a few more of these at your pace. Inhaling, hands rest, come up halfway. Exhale, lower, lift the arms. A few more breaths. Next time you come up halfway, we'll pause there and keep the hands where they are. And then we'll start to come all the way up, keeping the back nice and straight as we rise. And then release the hands from each other, reach the arms upwards. Exhale, hands together, thumbs in towards the heart center. About three deep breaths. And standing. Okay, let's take some variations of sun salutations today. <clears throat> Maybe we'll add as well and get creative here. So the next inhalation, reach the arms upwards. On the exhalation, take a side bend to the right and then let's pause there. So you might have this Left wrist held by the right fingertips, or you might have the right arm down by the right thigh. Take another full breath. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, bend to the left. Inhale, come to center, look upwards. Exhale, take the hands behind and interlace the fingers once again. Then we'll inhale, lift the heart, squeeze the shoulders back this time. And then exhale, fold forward, taking the arms up overhead just like we did before, but entering from a new way. Release the arms, actually keep the arms here, keep the arms here. Come up halfway like we did before. And then on the exhale, fold, release the arms, bring the hands down, step back and then lower down to the bottom of the push-up here, where we can hover for a moment, knees down or, or knees up. Inhale, find your back bend, cobra or upward facing dog. Lift the head a bit. And then on the exhalation, roll over the toes. Come into downward facing dog. Couple deep breaths. Remember to pull the belly up. Send the tailbone up. And then we'll be looking forward and stepping the feet forward once again. Come up halfway, take the hands behind the tailbone, lift the head, exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up to standing. Fingers stay interlaced. Then we'll reach the arms upwards and let's go right into circular motion here. So on the exhalation, take a side bend to the right. On the inhalation, come to center. Exhaling left. Inhaling center, take the hands behind, squeeze the shoulders back. Exhale, fold forward. Fingers are interlaced. Come up halfway, lengthen. Exhale, hands down, step back, lower. Inhale, back bend. 
exhale downward facing dog we're just going to go through this one more time so we'll have a good four breaths here When you're ready, step forward, take the hands behind, come up halfway, lengthen, exhale, fold, inhale all the way up to standing. Once you reach the arms up on the inhalation, then you'll exhale and bend right, inhaling center, exhaling left, inhaling center, hands behind, Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold, hands down. Another vinyasa here. Downward facing dog. Two more breaths. We're going to thread the needle and maybe add some balancing. So let's come down to table posture, hands and knees. And the next inhalation, lift the right arm up. Exhale, thread the right arm through. Come all the way down to the right shoulder, right side of the face. So first part, let's keep the left hand down and straighten the right arm and send the right shoulder back. We'll take about two or three breaths. And then we can just relax that right arm now. So from here, let's see if we want to go into a little balancing. You might straighten the left leg behind, bring the ball of the foot down the toes down. Now, if you have that and you feel comfortable, press down into the right arm and then lift the left arm up. You might wrap that left arm around the low back. Now, if you feel stable here, you'll push into the right shoulder and begin to lift the left leg up. So you want to root down into the shoulder. You have to push some weight down to lift the left leg up. Keep that right hand heavy. And then we'll start to come out of this if you were balancing. The knee comes down. We'll all take the left hand down and inhale, lift the right arm upwards. You know, this is a good spot to go into our side plank. So now we're going to come back right into that side plank that we were in before. So the right foot to the back of the mat, the right arm up. Now we might need to scooch the left hand forward a little bit so that we can lift the right leg and then we're going to potentially bend the right leg and hold the right foot with the right hand. Now here you have some options. You can pull it in towards the glute or you can kick the foot into the hand. If you're gonna kick the foot into the hand, you wanna change the direction of the hand, just like we did when we were on our side, bringing the hand to the top of the foot, the toes, and then maybe to the inside of the foot. Now we'll just take two more deep breaths. And start to come out of this, coming back into table, hands and knees. Right into the other side, inhaling left arm up. Exhale, thread the left arm through. Come down to the left shoulder, left side of the face. So the first couple breaths, we're going to straighten this left arm and we're going to pull the shoulder back.
Okay, then we'll just relax the left arm and we're gonna to need to start to press into it if we're gonna balance. So check in and see. You can go into any variation that works for you. If you wanna go through that little balancing sequence, you can extend the right leg to the back of the mat with the foot down to start. Then you'll wanna press into the left arm if you want to lift the right arm up. Maybe wrap that arm around the back. If you want to lift the right foot, press into the left shoulder and carefully, even into the fingernails. Left fingernails are pressing down. And we're lifting the right leg. Might keep it straight, might spread those right toes. You might fall over and that's okay. You're close enough to the ground where nothing's gonna happen. And we're gonna to start to come out of this. So one step at a time, hand, knee, right palm is down, inhale, lift the left arm up. Come into that side plank, extend the left foot to the back of the mat, maybe bring this right hand forward a little bit. And we'll lift the left leg, and then maybe we'll bend the left leg and hold the left foot with the left hand. And again, find that place where you can be and where you can breathe. Why there's a spectrum in every posture, spectrum of expressions. So then maybe you're going to push the foot into the hand and take the hand to the inside of the foot. One more deep breath. Exhale, step by step, come out. Release into table, and we're gonna let go in child's posture. And now we'll start to kind of slow things down and get our, get our bodies supported a little bit. So in your child's posture, releasing in, let everything get heavy. Three more deep breaths. Okay, next inhalation, we'll rise up to table. Let's come to seated for a moment. And um, actually, we're gonna incorporate a balancing posture today too. But I wanna come to seated. I wanna get, come into the experience of just being grounded and supported by the mat. So we'll cross the ankles, get nice and tall in the spine. And then on the next inhale, reach the arms upwards. On the exhalation, twist to the right, bring the left hand to right knee, right hand behind, get nice and tall, and then exhale, press into the hands to turn the spine, turn the head to the right. One more breath. And inhale, come to center. Once you're there, we'll take the arms up once again. And then exhale, twist left. Pressing into the hands, getting tall on the inhale, twisting on the exhale. And 
humble inhale, come to center, reach the arms upwards. Exhale, hands together, bring the thumbs in towards the chest. Let's go a little bit deeper into a uh, twist, which we've been doing uh, quite a bit lately. We're going to plant the right foot and then start to move the left foot a bit over to the right. See if you want to take the foot forward or in closer, and then we'll take the right hand behind and you'll either hug this right leg in with the left arm or you'll take the left arm, arm outside of the right thigh. Get nice and tall and then twist and turn to the right. Pull the low belly in, turning. Inhale, come to center. Exhaling, switching legs. Find the right placement for the feet. And then when you're ready, left hand behind, get tall, find that position for the right arm. And turning to the left. Another deep breath. Inhale, come to center. Okay, right from here, cross the ankles, roll forward onto the hands, onto the knees, unwind the ankles, roll over the toes, plant the feet, and come right into a forward fold. So if you got there a different way, it's all good. However we get here. Forward fold, we're kind of towards the center back of the mat. Just relaxing into this, let the head hang loose. Let the arms get heavy. Let the feet be hip distance or further or closer, whatever feels right. Check in and make sure the toes are facing forward or slightly inward, but not outward. Now we're going to take the thigh bones and press the thigh bones out. So if it's like a, you, is it feeling like it's out? We're really drawing them in. So it feels like you're kind of taking the heels out and you're drawing the thigh bones out and the knees in. So it's not an out feeling, it's really an in feeling. I just wanna see if I'm describing it right here. It's like you're taking the top of the, the, the say the top of the legs and the back, the glutes, kind of taking them out a bit. And then we're just gonna fold in with this specific uh, expression in the legs to help us lower a little bit more for three deep breaths. And then we'll start to rise. You can rise with a flat back or you can unroll the spine nice and easy. We're gonna balance and then we're gonna come back to seated. So, once you rise, maybe rolling the shoulders, maybe moving the head a little bit. Oof. <sighs> so we've been holding the foot behind the, the bottom quite a bit today. So we're going to do it in standing too. Um, so if you would like to have a chair or use a wall, um, you're welcome to do that to support. Um, either way, what we'll be doing is holding the right foot first. So that means the left side of the body will be closer to whatever you're going to support yourself with. So feet hips distance apart to start. Then we'll pick up the right foot and hold the right foot with the right hand. 
Now, if it's far away, that's fine. You're going to focus on pulling the pelvis in and stretching the, the thigh. If you can get the heel in towards the glute, then you've got plenty of options. You can take this left arm up if, if balancing is a, an option for you. You can focus on pulling the pelvis in and uh, stretching the right thigh. Another option is you can be here and then take your right hand back as we did before to the top of the foot and then to the inside of the foot. And still another option is to start lifting the foot up. Now there's plenty of places to go here. You might take the left arm forward. You might be able to get the arm to the foot and hold it here with the arm rather than the hand. You might take that left arm up and over the head. See if you can find a bind with the hands. I'm really shocked that I'm able to do it right now. I usually am not. So that means we're prepared today for it, so that's good. You might lean forward a little bit. And we're just gonna take a breath or two more. And then start to release. Shake the arm, the leg, and go into the other side. So we're going to have the left foot lift and hold the left foot with the hand. Then we'll pull the pelvis in. Maybe this is where we stay. Maybe we take the right arm up. If you know where you're going, just go for it. Going step by step here. So now I'll take my hand, move it to the top of the foot and to the inside of the foot. And start to lift the foot. Maybe take the arm up overhead. Maybe kick the foot into the hand, maybe lean forward. So whatever variation it is, it's a dancer posture. Another deep breath. And then we'll come out of it. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Let's come back to the mat. I said that we were gonna use props and now I really want to. So we're going to find the props to one side of the mat so that you're facing the, the long side. And we're gonna come into a supported wide leg downward facing dog. There's some options that we have for that. So first let's separate the feet on the mat and bring the arms to a T. What we've done already today, take the hands behind, interlace the fingers, but now we have wide legs. Squeeze the shoulders back, look upwards, open up. Exhale, fold forward. Sending the head down, the arms up overhead. Two more breaths. And then we'll release the arms when you're ready. We're gonna keep the feet separated, but then we'll start to send the hands forward. <clears throat> so we'll find extension in the arms and in the back. Taking the hands forward, we have some options, especially if you have some tightness that you're dealing with, you wanna bring blocks for the hands. Let's see if we can get that. Okay, so, and even without tightness, it's just a nice feeling to have the arms and the back kind of lined up, the feet separated. You can let the head go, let it hang loose. Squeeze the shoulder blades a little bit more, keeping the arms straight.
Now you can stay right here, or you can come to a little bit more of a supportive position by bringing a block to the forehead, and then you can just leave the blocks out for the hands and just bring forehead onto the block, and there's less effort in the arms now. They're still extended forward, but there's really no weight on them at all. You could pick them up. The weight's in the forehead and the feet. If you have the head supported, then maybe get it to relax in the neck a little bit more so you can get the head feeling heavier and heavier. Three more deep breaths wherever you are. Let the next breath be a clearing breath. So inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. And we'll start to just relax the arms a bit, uh, bringing them in, press into the palms, and then just start to bring the feet closer together so you can come down to the knees. And right from here, we're going to lower into child's posture so you could turn to face the front of the mat and then just let go. Three deep breaths. Inhale, start to rise up. Exhale, come down to the back. Bring the knees into the chest. We're going to go into a more um, active bridge posture next. So if you have two blocks, maybe you'd like to bring your feet to the blocks for a different variation today. I, I find this to be really, um, I don't know, helpful. So if you're going to do that, then just go ahead and prepare. You could also do that with firm blankets. But now when you're ready, we'll find our bridge by taking the shoulders back, pulling the pelvis in, lifting the hips up, and then walking the shoulders back, and finding the variation for your hands that works. Maybe you're pushing down into the, into the elbows, fingertips up, or interlacing fingers. We've done this a lot today, interlacing fingers, so you might find that maybe today, more than other days, this is more available. Lifting the hips and taking three more deep breaths. And exhale, releasing the arms, lowering the hips back down. Just take a couple deep breaths here. Feel the body sink. Feel the eyes relax. We're going to be rising up now. So once you rise, we'll be taking one leg out to the side. So you can face the side of your mat if you want, but it's not necessary. We're gonna have one foot, we'll just have the right foot in the center and the left leg out. 
So it's a half V formation. So as far off to the left as you can get that left leg. Yeah, nice and open. We might need some support, so keep your blocks uh, on hand. We're going to inhale, reach the arms upwards, flexing the left foot, and then exhale, fold forward, taking the arms with you, lowering the hands down, keeping the sitting bones pressed into the mat, and then beginning to release here. So the forehead eventually um, resting. Really, this is a good spot for it to rest. So if you can, bring some support. And you can keep the arms extended and more active, or you can just relax them. A couple more breaths, hopefully feeling some level of release here. Now we're going to start to come up uh, just halfway and then walk over to the left leg. So getting closer to the left leg, you might keep both hands to the inside of the left leg and just keep folding here. It's a little harder, so you might keep the arms extended and the trunk lifted. Some options, lots of options. If you're more flexible, you might be able to get a block. You might be able to get the foot, first of all. If you can easily get the foot, you might be able to get a block to the foot and hold the block and let that kind of pull you down as you curl the fingers around it. So wherever you are, another deep breath here. Now you might stay here and keep benefiting from this, or you might turn this into a little bit more of a twist, just a gentle one, kind of. <laughs> you will take the right hand and bring it to the outside of the left leg, just a little bit of a turn. Then you'll take the left hand behind the back, and maybe wrap it around the back. And then you'll just start to turn the head left. And then we'll come back to face the left leg if you were turned and then we'll come back to center so you can come up halfway walk back to the middle fold there and just take a nice deep breath notice that now you can go a little lower than before take a good clearing breath here in through the nose exhale out through the mouth and let's rise and switch legs if you want, you can take both legs out and just sense the difference between the two and then bring the left foot into center. So we'll start by taking the arms up. Exhale, folding forward. Bringing the hands down and then finding a support for the, the head to start. So first time we're just hanging out we're going to feel like we can't go as low as we could have when we finished the left side.
Making sure the right foot stays flexed, even if that right knee needs to bend. Almost there. And this will bring us to the um, portion of our postures, the uh, last portion. So let's take another breath in the center here. And then we're going to come up halfway and walk over to the right leg. Find the variation along the spectrum. We start at one point and eventually maybe move to the next point. Whatever you did on the other side, see if you can do the same here, step by step. Maybe you're going to turn, so you'll take the left hand to the outside of the right leg. Right hand behind, and then turning the head to the right. Eventually folding into the right leg. Coming back to center and folding back in the center. And then coming back up to seated as a deep fold. So before we come down to the back, just come up to seated with the ankles crossed. Roll the shoulders a few times. Let's work with the neck for a moment and then we'll rest. Really roll the shoulders. Get some good benefit out of that rotating the other way. Oh, and then taking the shoulders up, back, down. Let's um, drop the chin. Draw the chin in towards the neck. Stretching the back of the neck. Bring the chin up. Stretching front of the neck. Bring the chin to neutral, turn the head to the left. Just hold here. Turn the head to the right. Bring the head to center. Lift the right ear towards the sky. Bring the head to neutral. Lift the left ear up.
bring the head to neutral and then shake the head out maybe a circle or two okay sitting up tall everything relaxed take a deep breath in through the nose Release through the mouth. <sighs> and come all the way down to the back. Let's get ready to rest here. So you might be ready to just let the limbs go, or if you need to take a spinal twist, you can go ahead and do so, but just about a breath each side. And then preparing yourself, making sure that you're comfortable temperature wise. Releasing the feet to the corners of the mat, turning the toes away, releasing the arms away from the trunk by like, a, I don't know, eight inches or so. Palms flipped upwards, shoulder blades pressed down and then releasing the trunk completely. Let's do as we did before, but now we have uh, primed the body to, to be able to do it more effectively. So let's begin to relax the brain. Relaxing the brain in terms again of its processes that are not vital to survival. So our thoughts can just pause for a moment or they can flow in and out, but without our attention on them. And then relaxing the physical brain. Relaxing the back of the brain, the sides of the brain, the top of the brain, the front of the brain, and the center of the brain. Relaxing now the eyes, all around the eyes, relaxing. Relaxing the inner channels of the ears, the nasal cavity, the sinuses, relaxing. Relaxing in the throat and the mouth. Relaxing in the chest cavity. Relaxing the lungs. And the diaphragm. Relaxing the digestive organs. The ascending colon, the descending colon. The large intestines, the small intestines the stomach, relaxing the reproductive organs, and then moving up into the heart, relaxing the heart, resting the heart, and resting into the heart, resting. Resting, resting.
before you change anything. Just become aware of the, sur the surrounding sounds. The sounds in the room. The sound of my voice. The sounds outside your window or in the rest of the house. Now bring your attention to any inner sounds that you can experience. Maybe that is silence. Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's your breathing. Now experience all of these sounds at once, the sounds all around you and inside. Aware of the fullness of the sounds in your environment. And now start to bring your attention to the breath itself and begin to realize a fuller breath. So experiencing fullness in that breath, every inhalation and every exhalation. Watch where that fullness moves as you inhale into the body. And as you exhale, filling the space around you. Inhaling, filling the body. Exhaling, filling the space around you. Let's start to move now into the hands and the feet. Feel the full range of the hands as you circle them, the full range of the ankles as you circle them. Begin to move the arms behind, then the legs forward. Find a length in the body, the belly button lifting upwards. Exhaling knees into the chest, arms around the knees. Taking some swaying motion. So once you're in seated, really allowing yourself to experience the peace that you are feeling at this time. And we want to wish that peace and deeper peace for ourselves and also for the entire world, for all of the worlds, known and unknown. We want to wish peace for those who are suffering and know it and those who are suffering and don't know it. And we also want to wish peace for those who are creating suffering, that they may also find peace. So we'll chant um, Mangala Mantra, or you can listen, you can hum along. Um, it might go once or twice, we'll see.
Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. I honor the light in you that is the same light in me. Namaste.